One of the questions we have in front of us for our future society is who can actually make things with AI? Who decides how it's applied to benefit society? We show children how a robot sees the world. How does it learn to recognize objects? How does it know to recognize words? Are you a potato? We also allow them to be able to teach a robot or a computer. I'm going to give you 10 examples of images and then you're going to learn what a gesture is. So every interaction you have with it, it's kind of like a conversation. So you're having this learning companion, this cognimate that is learning with you and teaching you at the same time. So we were programming robots. You could play rock, paper, scissors. Okay. You did rock, paper, scissors into the camera and on shoot you did one of the motions and the camera did one of the motions and it's like rock, paper, scissors, shoot. The computer gets like better as you play the game. Cause like us, we might not know everything at first, but if we keep trying, we get better. Everyone has heard about like machine-based learning or artificial intelligence. And there was a certain no questions asked for a lot of the more tech savvy parents. It was like, go for it. Technology is gonna be a huge part of their lives, much more so than my life. If it's scary for some people, this AI technology, I totally get it. But as a parent and as a teacher, I thought it was really important because these are skills that 21st century kids need to have. When they understand this idea of a feedback loop, that the more information you give to a machine or a robot, the better it becomes. Hey Jibo, how smart are you? It really allows them to understand how machine learning and AI is different than just coding. So I think this is a very powerful paradigm for children. So they understand that when they have an Alexa at home or a smart assistant, everything they do, the way they talk to it, gets fed into the algorithm so the machine is actually reacting to them. Right now, we don't have basic AI literacy. We don't know what K-12 AI education should look like. So we have the opportunity to really shape that. At the Media Lab, we believe that should be done in a hands-on way. Children should work as part of groups and community. They should be able to share ideas, and they should feel empowered by tools that allow them to build real projects that matter to them. When my dad was young, he bought a car and took it apart to see how it worked. So you teach people that young how these things that grown-ups mostly program, how it works.